Hello and welcome to Learning Automotive Product Design. In this session, we will try to join this class A surface and see the use of this draft analysis tool and how to use this and what are the functions of this draft analysis. So first of all, we will join this surface. And so remember, whenever you do any operation on the class A surface, make sure you take another geometrical set and so that your tree structure is nice. So I will name this as a surface join and now use my join command to select any one of these surfaces and say distance propagation. So all of these surfaces will be selected and within the tolerance of 0 0.001 mm. And when I hit OK and turn on my shading with, without smooth edges. So you will notice that there is some error in this and we need to remove this. So I won't go into the class A surfacing techniques because we have already discussed it a lot and I'll just increase my merging distance. So still we got one point continuity error. So we need to remove this. So in this case, I'll take another geometrical set and join this and remove this sub elements to remove. Sorry. Sub elements to remove by keeping my and now I can take ISO curves and split that, split the surface wherever that error was coming. And that way we can remodify that patch again. So I will make my ISO curves very close to this error. And this also. And now we can split the surface so that we can make this patch again. So I'll go to split and split with this ISO curve by keeping both sides on and then split this surface with this curve. Now we can join these two surfaces. Join these three surfaces and hit OK. Still we are getting some error. Let's try to increase our merging distance. Now we can use either fill command or multi-section surface to fill this gap. So I'll go to fill command and take my boundary. But it, it shows some error. <clears throat> so we'll make this uh, profile again. I will extract, extrude this. Let's change its color so it's better to see. Now I'll make a spline in this case and split this extra profile. So that I get a nice and smooth edge there. So I'll come here and split it. Now I can use my fill command or multi section, whatever you find is right. We can use this and go to a point continuity. Okay, I'll give the tangent as this. And okay. Now I can join these surfaces. Now we got a pretty nice smooth blend and we remove that point continuity error. We can move this surface onto this one and delete this. Let's change its color. Sorry. And sorry, we need to rename this again and let's make it as a surface join. And now we will look have a look at it, this draft analysis tool. So how to perform the functions with this draft analysis tool. So first of all, we will need to see that what is the what will be the tooling direction for this part? I mean, where will be the core and cavity will come? So I can clearly see that the part is visible, most visible from this, this view that is parallel to screen. So I'll create a line which is perpendicular to the screen. In this case, I will go here and take my point and direction. So I'll take a point anywhere in this 3D. I'll go here and choose my circle this one and give the direction as y direction that is the part is clearing from this direction so when i view from this direction most of the surface of the part is visible to me and hopefully this is clearing in this direction so we'll go to the draft analysis tool and make sure whenever you use this uh, your material mode is on and the first step in this uh, checking draft on the surfaces is uh, to align your compass with this direction 
and then reorient it by clicking on this icon and then reorient your compass then click on this surface now we, we will see that what are the functions of these these tools here so this uh, tool gives us three colors here and this cup gives us a band of colors so you can change the angles and also you can improve increase this bandwidth so we'll stick to this one for now and this icon hides and unhides this uh, this graph and this is a hover method and to check the angles on the surfaces we'll come to it in a while and if you want to see the lines then you can check on this option and this uh, generally uh, shine uh, make, make the part pretty shiny and this is generally used when we move into the solid modeling of this since it is a surface so it won't be much necessary and also there are no undercuts in the part so you won't be using this function much so when we make a solid feature out of it i will explain you the function of this now let's move on to this hover analysis tool now you notice that all the surfaces which are between 0 to 10 degrees are in green color so if i hover over this green color the angle will be within 0 to 10 degrees so you can see it is 88 degrees 89 47 and whatever that is between 0 sorry whatever that is between uh, 0 uh, below 0 that will be in red color I'm sorry I'm sorry I made a mistake here so whatever that is between 0 to 10 degrees that will be in red color and whatever that is greater than 10 degrees that will be in green color so if I hover here and you can see that all the surfaces are greater than 10 degrees and all the surfaces which are between 0 to 10 degrees those are in red color so if I come over here I check it is 6 degrees so definitely it is between it is less than 10 degrees and greater than 0 degrees so you can change you can also double click here and change it make it let's make it 20 degrees now this surface also lies less than 20 degrees and greater than 0 degrees and all the surfaces which are less than 0 degrees those will be in blue color in this case no surfaces are in below 0 degrees so let's let's just quickly make a surface so that i can explain you how the blue color will look like so i'll go back here and with reference surface i will create a surface with respect to this direction i will choose this direction and make it tight. now let's come here and join it and check this top analysis again so now you see this surface is less than zero degrees so if i hover around this surface you will see that this is minus 57 degrees so that's how uh, this draft analysis tool work and in the next session we will see that how to use this draft analysis tool and with reference to the plastic injection molding and the plastic rope design how we can use this tool for uh, checking up graphs on plastic parts and how much is it necessary so this was all about this uh, draft analysis tool and you can always uh, in increase your bandwidth to analyze the part in a better way this is generally more bandwidth is generally used when you have to give different drafts on different on different places for example on mountains where the draw depth is very less you, you have to give a very less draft so in that case you can use this larger bandwidth otherwise it just stick to this it's it's very nice in the beginning and you can change the direction to view a uh, different from the different side uh, wherever, wherever but you notice that in this case when i switch the direction all the red color is missing so make sure that you view in this direction i will show you this uh, the use of this uh, command inversing the draft and the solid modeling and the surface is uh, surface this does not uh, show the results pretty good all right so this was it in this session and when you view from this direction so all with all the surfaces which are in red color that means that this is between 0 to 20 degrees so this surface falls within the bandwidth of 0 to 20 degrees and all these surfaces are greater than 0 degrees when you view from this direction so that's that's the meaning of graph analysis tool it shows you what angle is of the surface with respect to this direction wherever your compass was aligned 
So this was all about the draft analysis. And in the next session, we will talk about how to implement this draft analysis tool into the plastic product designing. So see you in the next session then.